Hey y'all, Noons here and welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. And I was setting this thing up as you guys saw in a previous video and I noticed that my flaps, they were not mechanically zero whatsoever. And I thought I was going to have to take this internal mechanism apart, but I found something cool to go ahead and adjust your control surfaces with limited amount of effort. So let's go check it out. Awesome. All right guys Another reason why I do flight modes now these flaps they're hinged internally, so they're very hard to adjust Now these are preset at the factory Do you see how that one is level with the fuse? Look at that one That's gonna make my plane list to the left and every function that I have This one is always going to be lower. Flaps. So, flaps. now you guys know. Alright guys, uh, another little thing. Here's the uh, how you adjust the flap. You see that turn screw right in there? You just loosen that up and you can go ahead and pull these and slide them out and do what you want. Just go ahead and make sure that these things get back tight so your control surfaces don't move around. Same thing with the aileron guys. So let's go ahead and get this. Alright guys. Uh, I'm going to try and do this right here in my garage. It's not the cleanest, but... So, you saw earlier how you adjust uh, the control surfaces. So let's go ahead and power this bad boy on. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And she's good to go. So we know that this is our mechanical zero. And I always like to do my ailerons right up here, level to the fuse. A lot of people will go ahead and line them up completely across uh, like this, but this goes ahead and it drags down. So let's go ahead and let's get that adjusted. We're going to need a Phillips end. And we're going to go ahead and get down underneath. And we're going to raise this one up. So it matches this side right here. This is just easier for me guys. You guys don't have to do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and loosen it up. And now, I have, as you can see, I can adjust. Right guys? So I'm going to put it right there. Let's hike her down. Give her a little snug. Uh, words of wisdom guys. I'm going to check my outside ones. Uh, that was pretty loose. Uh, to loosen it up That one wasn't as bad. I'd go ahead and I'd give these things another tighten. Oh Yeah, now let's go ahead and take a closer look guys This is all the little precision work that needs to go down now you see how it's level Same as that side so now when I drop this down, I know I'm getting the same deflection on both sides. And just for a, what we call in the army, an S and G moment, for y'all civilians, I mean shits and giggles. <laughs> so I got my handy dandy calipers right here. And we'll measure it from side to side. This is just a base jug measurement, guys. So we got about 27 on that side. And the same on this side. Let's go down. Landing flaps. And we'll go ahead. And get a total outside, corner to corner. Call that 38. Like I said, guys, this is just to go ahead and get a very close judgment. And right 
there. 38, guys. <coughs> well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and tighten up that other side. Let we know we're done. And uh, I hope you learned something today. Noon's out. Get some!